Okay, so this is how to subtract or to take away by adding numbers. And it's just a nice easy trick that if you're being asked to work something out, then it might make your life a little bit easier. Okay, and the way this might be used is that let's say we've got uh, £10 and we're buying an item for 97 pence. So I want to take away 0.97 from that total. Well, um, if you're in a shop, what will normally happen is the um, shopkeeper will count on. So they'll take the 97p and then they'll add 3p onto that 97 and then count up from that to £10. And what you'll actually get back is £9 and 3p in change. Okay, so what I want to do is just explore that a little bit. And let's suggest that what we'll do is we'll use it rather than as column arithmetic, but to make life a little bit easier. So, what I'm saying is the same sum is that if you've got 10.00 and you want to take away 0.97, then one of the ways that you can do that is you can add 0.03 to both the top and the bottom. What I mean by that is it's much easier to take away one pound than it is to take away 97p. So if I rewrite that, I now I'm going to get 10.03, because I've added three pence onto that 10 pounds, and I've got one pound, because I've added 3p onto that 97p. So both of those are adding three pence. Okay, if I take one away from the other, £10 and 3p, take away £1 is £9 and 3p. So it's just much easier to take that £1 away if I wanted to. And it's a nice, simple, easy way of just adding a number on to make your calculation a little bit easier. And it kind of works for pretty much anything that you want, really. So let's say if I've got something a little bit bigger, I've got 2,752 and I'm taking away... 195, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 onto that bottom and 5 onto the top. So the 5 on the bottom becomes 200 because it's just easy to take 200 away. So that now, if I add 5 and add 5 to both of those numbers, the top line becomes 2757, which is 2752 plus 5, and the bottom line becomes 200. So the answer to this question and that question is 2,557. Okay, so that's the way that you can just add numbers on to the bottom lines of these subtractions to make it a little bit easier. The best example probably is using money, because always in money we've usually got a £5 note or a £10 note, or if we work very hard we might have a £20 note. Okay, so... You can stop the video there if you want to, but what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to cover the algebraic proof for that, because it is important that if we make these sorts of uh, statements, it is important that we prove it to you as well. So what I'm saying is, is that I've got two numbers. Uh, there's those two numbers, or I've got those two numbers, or those two, or whatever two numbers it might be. And I'm going to say one of the numbers is A, and one of the numbers is B. So basically, the uh, algebraic equivalent of these is A minus B. Okay, and what I'm saying is, is that if I add 3P to A and B, it's going to be the same as A minus B. Okay, what I mean by that is A minus B equals 3P added onto A and 3P added onto B. Okay? So, what I've got is A plus 3 take away B plus 3. So, I'm saying that both those sides are exactly the same. That A minus B is exactly the same as A plus 3 take away B plus 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is remove the brackets and just work that through. So I've got A minus B on this side, that remains the same. And on this side, I've got A plus 3 minus B. Now, 
A minus take away positive number is a minus number, so it becomes B minus 3. I guess you kind of know what's going to happen next, because now I can just cancel through. So I've now got A minus B on this side, because all this side hasn't changed. And on this side, I've got A, and I've got plus 3, minus 3. So both of those two cancel themselves out. And I'm left with minus B. So actually, by adding 3 to both sides, I can now algebraically prove that A minus B is the same as A minus B on both sides. Um, I hope that's helpful to you. Um, it's just a way that maybe you might be able to just make your life a little bit more straightforward when you're doing some of the uh, subtraction column arithmetic problems, particularly those that involve lots and lots and lots of zeros. Um, and that's a way that it might be helpful to you.